All right, we have a set of advanced panel meters by True Meter. Uh, we've got these set up, or we'll have to monitor the current of various motors in some pumping pits to save any label makers or anything like that. We've managed to configure the software so you've got uh, in one particular pit uh, one in PP1, two in PP1 one in PP2, two in PP2 and so on all the way up to four. Uh, that's fairly easy to do uh, with the software. The one tricky issue was setting up the CT ratios um, according to the instructions it made out you could set up virtually any ratio um, one particular make uh, did have uh, a few issues uh, with not registering anything at all when uh, a test current was uh, put on the system um, the one I've tried to use now is by IME uh, it's this one here there we've got a primary current of 60 amps a secondary a five and I think the problem with the other CT we're using the power is reasonably reasonably low uh, I think this one we've got here is 2.5 VA and it seems to be having some better results uh, yeah that's the TAI 200 and we've got some details of it there Uh, that's the unit we have there. Connection from CT on the secondary is S1 and S2, obviously with the primary running from P1 to P2, on the other side there. Uh, that runs onto the input. And obviously we're using, or will be using, a 24 volt DC supply. Uh, it's just running off that AC transformer for now. And obviously those are just daisy chained across. We can have a look at the advanced panel meter software. Um, which I've got set up on the uh, on the laptop there. Plug in the uh, USB lead. Of course, the uh, dip switches at the back, just there, are set off, so it can be configured by the software. Okay, so it's recognised that ammeter, so we did go to configure. Okay, and these are the default settings. I've already inputted some uh, details onto that already, so if we just read what's on the unit now. There we go, we've just got it to two decimal places, that's enough for what we need. Um, range from 0 amps up to 8 amps. Uh, now the external sensor, um, what we're measuring is above 5 amps, so we're going to have to use the uh, external CT. We've put in the primary as 60 and 5 amps, according to the data on the side of the, uh, on the, side of the current transformer. Um, what we can also do with the analog output, um, we've got the 4 to 20 milliamp outputs, which uh, can be connected to a, uh, a PLC uh, to send uh, data 
um, of our network. Um, a little bit of work is going to have to be done when the uh, panel gets to site. Um, but we can always uh, alter that in the uh, in the software later on if there's an issue. This is a test current just to see if this is all working. We've got a domestic style oil filled heater with a, a maximum load of running about sort of five to six amps. Um, obviously you've got the ammeter in line as well just to double check that. Uh, that should be hooked up to this unit there. So if we put one element on, that's two elements. Six point two seven. Okay, what's this thing? Okay, five point six. Okay, let's drop one element off. 3.25, 3.26, say, that's 2.7. It's a little bit of an inaccuracy there, so uh, don't exactly know what's happening calibration wise. Well, at least it's reading something. 